What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Kangaroo Black, coming back once again to talk about the most overrated SEC teams headed into the 2024 season. But let me mention that we only got 92 days, 16 hours, and 54 minutes before the start of the 2024 college football season. And just like me, I know you ready to watch some Alabama football, no matter if you are an Alabama fan or not. But let's go ahead and get into this video. And the most overrated team in the SEC is the Ole Miss Rebels. Even though I'm high on Ole Miss, it is asinine for whoever came up with this preseason rankings to have Ole Miss ranked ahead of my Alabama Crimson Tide. No way, no how. That should happen. I can't remember the last time that Ole Miss was even competitive on the football field with my Alabama Crimson Tide. I believe you have to go all the way back to what, 2014, 2015, whatever Hugh Freeze was the coach, and he beat Alabama those two years. Matter of fact, him and Ole Miss didn't even beat Alabama. Alabama beat themselves in those games, and everybody know it. But, hey, that's neither here nor there. That was nine, ten years ago. And now is now, okay? And, and since then, I can't even remember the last time my Alabama Crimson Tide didn't beat Ole Miss by double digits. This is a no-brainer that Ole Miss is overrated when you have them ranked higher than my Alabama Crimson Tide. I don't care that it's one spot. They got Ole Miss ranked number six and Alabama ranked number seven. Totally wrong. Now, I understand that, you know, Ole Miss, they got Lane Kiffin, one of the best offensive minds in the game. They got Jackson Dart coming back at quarterback. You know, they got Logan Diggs, Transfer from LSU at running back. They got another running back from uh, New Mexico who ran for over 1,200 yards last season. You know, I know they got, oh, who they got? Uh, uh, Trey Harris coming back at wide receiver, okay? And they picked up uh, Antoine Juice Wells, transfer from South Carolina, who, who was a, almost a 1,000-yard receiver last season. I understand that, okay? But, hey. You still ain't better than my Alabama Crimson Tide. No way, no how. Because you know, you don't have Quinshawn Jenkins no more. One of the best running backs in all of college football. He transferred to Ohio State. You don't have him no more. So, uh, you definitely ain't better than my Alabama Crimson Tide. Not with all the weapons we got over there. In Tuscaloosa, no, you are not better, Ole Miss. Ole Miss. They lying to you, Ole Miss. Whoever made these preseason rankings lying to you, Ole Miss. You are not that good. Now, I understand you only lost two games last season to only Alabama and Georgia. But this season, you, you still ain't better than my Alabama Crimson Tide. Now, granted, I think Ole Miss got the, got the easiest path to uh, – to Atlanta this season. Let me bring up the old Miss schedule. It's pretty easy in my opinion. But uh, you still ain't better than my Alabama Crimson Tide. You still don't deserve to be ranked higher than my Alabama Crimson Tide. But anyway, Ole Miss, I think they're going to go real off seven wins in a row to start the season. Furman, Middle Tennessee, Wake Forest, Georgia Southern, Kentucky, South Carolina. And yes, I believe they'll beat uh They'll beat LSU. They beat LSU last season with Jaden Daniels, Malik Neighbors, and Brian Thomas Jr., Logan Diggs. Ole Miss beat them last season by a hair, but, hey, they beat them. Um, yeah, they'll reel off seven wins in a row. I feel like, shit, Oklahoma, they'll beat Oklahoma close. Arkansas, and then I think game nine, they got the Georgia Bulldogs. Now, that's going to be a tough game. If they can beat the Georgia Bulldogs, then I'll be convinced. Until then, I'm going to stand on what I'm saying. So, hey, it is what it is. They're going to beat Florida and Mississippi State. So, yes, 
I think Ole Miss got the easiest schedule in the SEC. And I think they got the easiest path to get to Atlanta. Whether they do or not, that remains to be seen because we know Lane Kiffin is known to mess some things up at times. So we'll see. But Ole Miss at number six is way overrated. Ole Miss ranked higher than my Alabama Crimson Tide in his preseason ranking. It's playing out as a nine. You know it, and I know it. Let's move on. Another team that I think is highly overrated is Missouri at number eight. Only one spot below my Alabama Crimson Tide. And you know Missouri can't compete in nothing when it comes to football. You know, when it comes to my Alabama Crimson Tide. I think Ole Miss, I mean, uh, 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 Missouri should be ranked down like 13, 14, you know. That's just me. But anyway, and I think Missouri is probably the sixth, fifth, sixth best team in the in the SEC, if not lower. I know what kind of season Missouri had last season. They went 11 and 1. Okay, but I'm going to stand on it. It was a one-off. I have no faith in Missouri. Missouri then had nine, ten years of mediocre season and seasons, and then they finally get one, and they put on a pedestal. No, 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 no. I don't think Missouri is better than teams that's ranked under them. Matter of fact, I don't think Missouri is better than Tennessee, even though they beat the brakes off Tennessee last season to the tune of like 36 to 7, 38 to 7 or some shit like that. That was a one off. I don't think Missouri is better than Tennessee. And then, you know, uh, I know Missouri got Brady Cook. He coming back. Uh, he, he back. And, uh, but your workhorse is gone. Cody Schrader is gone. That was a lot of your offense right there, your run game, Cody Schrader. And uh, I don't think the next man up is a Cody Schrader. Uh, he can't produce what Cody Schrader produced for that Missouri offense. Eli Drinkwitz, average run of the mill coach, in my opinion. I know he won as EC Coach of the Year last season, I believe. Straight robbery because my – Nick Saban, the great one, he deserved that, that award last season after what he pulled off with that Alabama team last season. He deserved it. Nick Saban was robbed. Eli Drinkwitz did not deserve the SEC Coach of the Year. You can't even make the conference championship. So, hey, it is what it is. But for, for Missouri to be ranked one spot Behind my Alabama Crimson Tide, that's asinine also. Yes, it is. No way. No how. That should happen. Missouri should be ranked lower than what they are. And Missouri, they, they, whoever made these rankings, they lying to you too. But, we, but you're going to find out come this season. I don't even got to pull up your schedule. I'm giving you three to four losses, Missouri. Damn right. Because I don't believe you that good. So, hey, it is what it is. Prove me wrong. Then we can talk about it. <laughs> it's a, anyway, oh, I, have I ever met a Missouri fan? I don't think so. But anyway, let's keep it moving. Next team, I think, is highly overrated. Even at number 14 is LSU. I don't believe in them neither, especially with that defense. And I don't expect their defense to be no better this year than it was last year. I don't, even though they fired that damn defense coordinator they had. You got a lot of the same damn guys. So I don't expect that defense to be even 20% better. All right? You don't have Jaden Daniels no more. You don't have Logan Diggs no more. You don't have them. You don't have Malik Neighbors and Brian Thomas Jr. to 
at the wide receiver anymore. You don't have him. And then you got Garrett Nussenmeyer at, at your quarter as your quarterback. Even though he's accurate, he can sling that ball. He's a statue in the pocket. A statue. And he ain't. He, trust me. He on. He ain't nowhere near the caliber of quarterback that Jaden Daniels was for y'all last year. Nowhere near. So and, and and you lost what three games, three or four games with Jaden Daniels. I believe it was three. And those dynamic wide receivers and Logan Diggs at running back. No, you you ain't got what it take. And yeah, LSU, you ranked number fourteen and. Hey, <laughs> to me, I think you, if you're going to be in the top 25, you should be at 20, 21, 22. That's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. And I believe they got LSU ranked above Tennessee, one spot above Tennessee, and Tennessee is at number 15. And I think Tennessee is better than y'all, LSU, coming into this season. Only issue Tennessee got on defense is they secondary. But LSU, it's your whole secondary. Tennessee's offense coming into this season, I believe it's going to be better than LSU's. Matter of fact, I know it because I just named off the offensive players that you don't have no more at, at, at the key positions on offense, quarterback, running back, and two wide receivers. You don't have them. LSU, you're going to be worse than you was last season, and you don't deserve the number 14 ranking at all. And Tennessee, in my opinion, deserve to be above LSU and Missouri coming into this season. That's my opinion. And if you disagree with it, then you just disagree. Let me know in the comments. But anyway, and then the last team that I think is overrated as far as the SEC is Oklahoma. Yes, Oklahoma. They at number 18. And I'm going to say my Oklahoma coming into the SEC is middle of the pack of the SEC. And if middle of the pack of the SEC will get you a, a number 18 ranking, then so be it. Coming into the SEC, I think Ole Miss is only better than uh, Vandy, South Carolina, Mississippi State, Arkansas, Auburn, uh, who else? Florida. Yeah. I think they're in the realm with Texas A&M. Middle of the pack when it comes to the SEC. You don't got Dylan Gabriel no more. I mean, that guy, that guy was a five-year starter for y'all. I know he got hurt, I believe, his third season. He only played three games that season. But the rest of the time, the guy was a killer. Throwing but anywhere between 3,100 yards to freaking 3,600 yards every season. Yeah, I know it was always over 3,000 yards, but I'm saying between 31 and 3,600 yards every season, except that one he was hurt in. Anywhere between 25 and 30 touchdowns. The guy you got now at quarterback, I don't think he's that good. Oklahoma, I think you're going to lose to Texas. I know you beat them last season. I don't even have your schedule. Do I have your schedule up? Yes, I do. Oklahoma, you will start out 3-0 and against Temple, Houston, and Tulane. Hell, Tulane might give you a damn run for your damn money. They just might. Shit. So, hey, it is what it is. But then in week four, week four, you're going to lose – to uh, 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 Tennessee. Tennessee going to whoop your ass, Oklahoma. Guaranteed. You might get Auburn. Maybe. Oh, shit. Drop the shit. You might get Auburn, maybe. Then you're going to lose to Texas. You're going to lose to Ole Miss. You're going to lose to Alabama. So how many games, how many losses? One, two, three, Four right off the bat. I mean, not right off the bat, but that's four losses in during your season. Hell, you'll probably, maybe, lose to LSU your last game. So, 
Auburn might give you a give you a run for your money. So it is what it is. Those are the four overrated teams of the SEC, in my opinion, heading into the 2024 season. Ole Miss at number six, Missouri at number eight, LSU at 14, and Oklahoma at 18. If you disagree, put it in the comment section. I'll respond to it. If you agree, put that in the comment section too. But uh, to have Ole Miss ranked ahead of my Alabama Crimson Tide, that's, that's just straight wrong. To have Missouri rank one spot lower than my Alabama Crimson Tide is asinine. Both of them. To have LSU, even though they beat the brakes off Tennessee last season, to have LSU ranked, <laughs> ranked ahead of Tennessee, that's asinine in, in my opinion. But being the LSU Beat the hell out of Tennessee last season. I know a lot of people might might disagree with that, but that's just my belief. Oklahoma at number 18. That's a lie. Lie detector says that's a lie. And, and that lie detector damn sure said Ole Miss at number six, ranked above Alabama, is a lie. <laughs> that's a lie, man. But anyway, that's my video. And if, if y'all agree with me, let me know. If you don't, let me know. It's just conversation, baby. That's all it is. But y'all remember, y'all be blessed, and I don't give a piss about nothing but the tide and roll damn tide.